अच्छा सुनो सब्सक्राइब करते वक्त ना घंटी बजा देना यमनी अथॉरिटीज डिक्लेयर एड एन अनफेस्टेड सिटी ऑन मंडे आफ्टर द नंबर ऑफ कोरोना वायरस केसेस देयर जंप टू 35 विद फोर डेथ्स अ फाइव ईयर वॉर हैज शैटर्ड यमेंस हेल्थ सिस्टम पुश्ड मिलियंस टू द ब्रिंक ऑफ फैमिन एंड डिवाइडेड द कंट्री बिटवीन द इंटरनेशनली रिकॉग्नाइज्ड गवर्नमेंट एंड द हाथी ग्रुप दैट आउस्टेड इट फ्रॉम पावर इन द कैपिटल साना इन लेट 2014 The Aden-based National Coronavirus Committee late on Sunday announced 17 new COVID-19 cases, 10 of them in the southern port city, to raise the total count in areas under the Saudi-backed government's control to 51 with 8 deaths. The Houthi movement, which controls Sana and most large urban centers, has only reported two cases, with one death. The Aden-based government has accused Houthi authorities of covering up an outbreak in Sana, an accusation they deny. The World Health Organization says there is the full-blown transmission of the virus in Yemen, whose population has some of the lowest levels of immunity to disease compared with other countries. Testing capabilities are inadequate. The Aden-based committee said Aden had been declared an unfested city due to the spread of the coronavirus and other diseases after recent flooding. It said movement from Aden to other regions was barred with the exception of the transport of goods. The administrative and political situation in Aden is also hampering efforts to combat the coronavirus and this should be remedied so relevant entities can carry out their duties the committee said on its Twitter account A major separatist group had on April 25th declared self rule in Aden and other southern regions threatening to renew conflict with the Saudi backed government in Yemen's multifaceted war The separatist Southern Transitional Council and the government of Abd Rabbu Mansour Hadi are both parts of the anti-Houthi coalition led by Saudi Arabia, but they turned on each other last year until Riyadh brokered a deal in late November. The coalition had on April 24th extended by one month a nationwide ceasefire prompted by the coronavirus outbreak as the United Nations seeks to hold virtual talks to agree on a permanent truce, coordinate coronavirus efforts, and restart peace talks.